found porcini. This is what I do with my spare time mushroom foraging. Look, one, two. Oh, look at that one. Three is massive, but it's all been chewed up. I think this was last week. If last week we came, these will be good. Anyway, they are here. Gonna pick another. That's all right. Still edible. Nice. Let's have a look at the other one. Yeah, this one's okay. This one's okay. It's quite heavy. These are 50 pound a kilo, these mushrooms. King of mushrooms, penny bun. Because they look like a, a bun. Well, the slug's been eating that. But that's all right, it's nice and solid. Woohoo! See you later. Where we found all the winter chanterelles. Yeah. They're everywhere here. See? All the winter chanterelles are here. Yeah. They're grown in bunches, look. Yeah. I think she forbid to hide everyone. <laughs> Yeah, I think it's a good one. 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 It's a good there's winter chanterelle. Yeah. They're all growing in a row. See that? All along here. All along here. There's loads of them. Probably about 50, about 100 mushrooms here. Yeah? That's how they grow. Okay. Ooh, everyone's getting excited. Mushroom hunting today. What do we have in our basket? Got a winter chanterelle, yes, indeed. And also, I found a set, a little porcini. That's nice. Winter chanterelles. You can tell what they look like, you see? They got the gills but they go all the way down to this stalk here that's how you can tell it's a winter chanterelle beautiful aren't they just give you another example look at that these are different kind they like to grow in clusters and normally there's a dimple in the, the middle as they grow these are really good mushrooms to dry and they'll keep for ages and they rehydrate really well so get out and start picking mushrooms because they're all over here and probably next week there'll be more okay there you go they cost two pound for about 150 grams in Tesco and you can get it free thank you bye bye as usual, this is Gop's basket. <laughs> she got loads of chanterelles. Like a half a basket full. Look at that. Look at that. <clears throat> they will be coming out next week as well, look. Because we saw loads of baby ones. Yeah, but these are prize mushrooms, yeah? Probably see them in Tesco's later on. Okay, bye. There you go, frying the steak. Steak. It's a ribeye steak. 
halfway done. I just like it about two minutes on each side for this thickness. So it'd be like a, a medium rest. Okay. Melt some butter in the pan. Don't want it too high heat, yeah? Just want it medium heat. So we're gonna burn the butter. And then add porcini. Cook it too long. Cook it too long, it goes all mushy. You want it crispy, kind of thing, yeah? about a couple of uh, bits of the portini. Still got a lot left. Okay, it was quite big. Okay, I'll show you when they're cooked. Now the winter chanterelles. Same thing, saute in butter. These shouldn't take long as well. Look at that, a nice colour, eh? Nice colour. And you don't want to throw the stock away. For the juices. I'll pick that up and that go on the steak. So you've got like a mushroomy mushroom sauce. So that's not bad, is it? Free food from the forest. This is what you call <coughs> good food. You won't find this in any restaurant. That's it. That's done. And there we have it. Ribeye steak with porcini or any bun with winter chanterelles picked from the forest today. A nice bottle of red wine. And what's missing? You have to have Coleman's mustard with steak. Yes, it's an English thing. This is good stuff. Anyway, hope you enjoyed the video. Get out there and forage. Thank you. Bye bye. Please like, subscribe, and share. And don't forget to turn the notification bell on. If you enjoy my projects, keep posted. Thank you. Bye bye.